All right, yeah, so before I get out of here, uh, I guess I'll comment on the Philadelphia Eagles, and some people keep asking me about it. Uh, I was very negative on the Philadelphia Eagles this season. I said they're only going to win five games. Um, I, I, I thought the defense was terrible, and the defense was terrible um, for most of the season until we started playing horrible, horrible teams and horrible quarterbacks. I mean, we're playing teams that we're playing teams that are already bad, you know, but they get hit by COVID and they're playing their fourth string quarterback. Like, how am I supposed to be actually impressed by that? I will say the offensive line stayed healthy the whole season. That's something that had to happen. That's something I didn't anticipate. I anticipated the offensive line would be injured again. I kept saying they're old, they're injury prone, whatever. I kept saying that's a reason that, that the Eagles aren't going to be good is that offensive line is old and injury prone. So, so shout out to the offensive line for staying healthy outside of Brandon Brooks again. But one of the best offensive lines in the game. Um, Jalen Hurts, he can run. He can make plays with his legs. He can throw the ball here and there. His deep ball is absolutely horrendous. So I'm still, you know, not sold on that, but... Uh, I think just Nick Sirianni finally figured out how to call the game with a guy that can't throw a deep ball. And once he started making it a run-heavy offense, which should have been which should have been obvious in the beginning of the season, once he started making it a run-heavy offense and taking advantage of that really strong offensive line, we're better than the really, really bad teams we've been playing the second half of the season. And that's the thing. I just think Eagles fans just, you want to you wanna do this, you want to do this rah rah Super Bowl every year? You got to be realistic here. As soon as we play a Justin Herbert, uh, whoever else, uh, uh, even a Derek Carr, you know what I mean. As soon as we play a good team with a good quarterback, we gave the last time we played two good quarterbacks in a row, we gave up back to back forty point games. So I think Jalen Hurts has impressed me. I think Nick Sirianni impressed me with turning with turning the, his play calling around and taking advantage of the offensive line and establishing a run game. So I, I am impressed, and I am I'm fine with being wrong about five wins. I'm fine with being wrong about five wins. But we're not beating anybody in the playoffs. But I will say it's impressive that they got to the playoffs. I'll say that. I'll say that. I will say that. Because if they were absolute dog shit like I thought they were going to be, we would have been losing to these teams like the Washington football team and the New York Giants and, and the Jets. So they're better than I thought they were going to be, but w w we don't need to be out here. Rah, rah, we can beat anybody in the league and all that stuff. Like, come on, man. Come on. And, yeah, Jalen Hurts' long passes are knuckleballs. They're, they're, just, they're just so bad. They're just so off target all the time. So sh 20 yards short. Uh, and I don't think he's ever going to have a deep ball because I, I just, I don't know, man. He looks like he struggles to throw it. Like, he looks like he has small hands. So I, I realistically, and I don't want to be that that guy, that negative guy, but realistically, I think Jalen Hurts, it will be pretty much a career backup. Be a great backup quarterback. A guy that can get the ball in the end zone. But I want that big pocket passer that can that can launch it down the field, man. That's what I want.